What is good ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another YouTube video and I have another what if story for you what if Goku and Vegeta didn't have Potara now I was sitting and thinking about this and I was like what if what if this really happened think about what the circumstance or what the situation was previously before Potara I think in this one we can assume that it's the one with all of his transformations just to make it a little bit harder and so Goku and Vegeta are at the standstill and Vegeta throws the Patara, or Goku throws the Patara at Vegeta, and it falls and it breaks. Uh, they cannot use the Patara earrings anymore. Therefore, how will they fare? How will they fare in this battle? When Sparky Zero comes out, we're going to be seeing how this works. In my opinion, how I think it would probably end is Super Buu would probably end up destroying Earth. But I think they would still make their way to Supreme Kai's planet. So they make it back to King Kai's or uh, Supreme Kai's world. And now that Go Gohan and everybody is absorbed, it's kind of hard to see how they can make their way out. In this event, I don't think at this point uh, we had the fusion with um, Kabito and um, Supreme Kai already. At this, at this point, they would have to aid in the battle. And I don't know if Supreme Kai is playable, which I don't know. That I will be using him in Sparking Zero to see how we can devise like a team battle against just Super Boo and see how strong we can make him. If I can't use Super Ka Supreme Kai or uh, you know uh, the at least the normal version, Goku and Vegeta will have to fight Super Boo on their own at Supreme Kai's world. Basically, they will have to get the unlock that Elder Kai used on Gohan on Vegeta or Goku, and with how long it takes Vegeta or Goku is going to have to fend off Super Buu so I'm going to try to make it into a way where Vegeta is like fighting for his life against Super Buu and then Goku has to you know get his uh, unlock potential again from Supreme Kai and hopefully that aids them in battle to know in the comments what you guys think about how this could possibly work out in both the show but even in Sparking Zero and Sparking Zero I want to make it so that Super Buu is like really powerful like super powerful and he stops at that one form but Goku, Goku and Vegeta don't have their blue forms, obviously, and all that good stuff. So it's like they're going to be down to like Super Saiyan 1. Because at this point, they're depleted from energy, you know, all that good stuff. You know, they've been fighting. They tried to get Protara. It broke, all that good stuff. So they're at like Super Saiyan 1. And I'm going to probably bump Goku up to Super Saiyan 3. So in this battle, Vegeta gets to actually see Goku be Super Saiyan 3. Um, not like how the end he did with the spirit bomb, but like literally at the, he can literally fight and see how, uh, see how, uh, uh, Goku fights in Super Saiyan 3, not with it being against him, of course. So it'll be a new, di new dynamic to, for Vegeta to be, uh, fighting against Kakarot and then he finds out about Super Saiyan 3 and then now he has to use Super Saiyan 3 and Supreme Kai's power up. It's kind of gonna, it's kind of gonna put a hole in his pride and everything. So we're gonna see how it. Uh, works out in Sparky Zero, all that good stuff. But if you guys like these what if stories and all that good stuff, let me know in the comment section how you guys think it would play out differently. I have a lot of these planned for you guys, so make sure you guys stay tuned and leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and we'll get on some more Dragon Ball Sparky Zero content. Peace.